How you guys doing? Welcome back. This is to your tea time on Plus TV Africa, where we keep it 100. And yes, trust me, I've got a super duper personality in the studio yes, right sir. now. And yes, this man has been the manager of the late reggae icon, Majek Fashek. And yes, his name is Omenka Uzoma Day. He has dropped the 2021 music video himself. Yes, that is the legacy definitely lives on. Yes, and this is titled Celebrate, even though he is still mourning the great legend, Majek Fashek. Talking about his latest effort shot in Cape Town, South Africa, and directed by Nani Chechecheho, a Zimbabwean Uzo says, the world is changing and perhaps might never become what it used to be. New realities, fears, suspicions, and confusion is causing anxieties and worries. Keeping safe during a pandemic, staying safe amidst news of banditry and kidnapping, news of insurrection, and, and, and a whole countless worries we deal with on a regular basis. That sometimes we forget to acknowledge some of the other daily blessings today, I implore you to celebrate your little wins. Be thankful for the privilege of life and live in and rekindle the hope for a brighter tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's welcome to the tea time table, hey. Uzo! Hi. What's good, bro? Bis, bis, bis. Bis, bis, bis. Is that the All right, let's hear you play something since you came with your guitar. You know, before we even start talking to you, talk to us. Okay. Well, right. um... This the song I'm gonna play now mm. uh, is dedicated to the living legendary, mm. uh, to the late legendary Majek Fashek. Mm. He's living no in your heart, what, though. He lives in my heart. I still mm. miss him. Mm. So this song I'm about to sing says that if you have opportunity with a friend, with a close friend, cherish that person because nobody knows tomorrow. Mm. Right. Dedicated to Majek Fashek. Mm. Nobody knows tomorrow. Nobody knows tomorrow. Nobody knows tomorrow. Nobody yet. Holy Jah know tomorrow. Sing with me now. Yo, nobody, nobody knows tomorrow. Nobody. Nobody knows tomorrow. Nobody yet. Nobody knows tomorrow. Nobody knows. Holy Jah know tomorrow. Righty, righty. Yes, at least we know today and with that, mm, yes. Today, Uzo is with us, you know. That was a beautiful rendition. Yeah. And of course, yeah. I think that's a very good word of encouragement to everybody. Nobody knows tomorrow. Live your best life, YOLO. You only live once. Yes, mm. let me say it like the young ones will say it. You, you sing, nobody knows tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Now, I'll sing YOLO. YOLO. <laughs> YOLO. Hey, yo. All right, so welcome to the show. Tell us about um, your relationship with my Jack Fishek before we even get to talk about How your life. How did you guys even meet? Funny enough, um, back in the days, years back, I never knew I was going to manage him someday. Mm. He was one of my biggest fans. Mm. Um, I loved his song, Righteousness. Mm. Then we were living on the same street in, at Maryland. Mm. I was staying at number nine. He was staying at maybe number 12 or something. I can't remember. But most time he drives out with Volvo. Anytime he drives out, we follow him. Because then me and my friend, we, drove, we used to drive. Volvo 247. Mm. That's our plate number, mm. 247. So, and after some time, we met in the US, United States. At least my Jack picked me. He had interest in me. Mm. Yes, because I, did it, I never had it in mind. I used to manage a lot of artists, promote a lot of artists. The day when we won um, Cora Award. Mm. That was 2010 with Peace Square mm. and all that with my artists. King Guadada then, mm, you know. So I've been managing a lot of artists, doing my music, singing, wow. and doing all that. So it just happened that um, when he was having ups and downs, first of all, we were together in 2012. Mm. Um, he was having ups and downs. I took him to Ghana because I noticed that he has to be out of space because, you know, he's a superstar. If a dog bites a man, it's not a news. But when... A man bite, bite a, dog. a dog is international mm. news. Mm. So to avoid a lot of it, I took him to Ghana. Mm. So spent some time, was able to recover, then mm. came back to Nigeria. But I had my future and I had my ambition. I left back to the United States. Mm. So someday when I go back, one of my friends saw him say, Ah, Uzo is in town. He not gave the person my number. His number that she called. When I spoke to him, he came to my house straight. But when he came, I didn't really like what I saw. And it was my birthday. My oh. Jack refused. He said he has to come upstairs to sing <laughs> for me. You know, my house is full of equipment. And my Jack saw it that, uh, because you have to know music to, 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 
to manage my jack. Mm. Because before it comes on stage, I have to tune all the equipment. I'll make sure everything is in place, even in the studio and everything. So we're living together and he told me, I don't want to make money. You are capable, you are David, you are a young boy, and I know you can do. I've studied you because my Jack himself knows music very well. Mm. He knows what it is. So, music promotion, he said, if I can, he didn't say it at first, but he pushed it in. Mm. He said, oh, take charge. That's how we started. And Sorry, before you even come in, um, you mentioned some of the, you know, when he had ups and downs and some of the challenges it was facing at the time before you started managing and you did not like what you saw. So what were some of those things that, you know, the media would not tell us about that Majek Fashek was going through before he passed away? You see, the truth is that um, on Toast Story, a lot of things people don't understand about Majek. Mm. I have the privilege that he lived with me. Mm. It's the fact of living with somebody is trying from managing somebody. somebody. Mm. But a lot of news out there is not the news. Mm. What have you heard that is not true? You see, the fact and the truth is that the drug thing, since my Jack has been with me, there was no day about drug. Mm. Mm. There was no one single day. Maybe he had spiritual problems back in the days. Mm. But my own time, we always have money devotion. It's, it's everywhere online. You can mm. check. We have money devotion. We pray. My Jack lead the prayer. Mm. I play the music. I sing the worship. Mm. He preach, and we go out for road walk. Mm. We fight too. We fight. We argue okay. because the problem he had was drinking. Mm. Mm. That drinking, ha! Ah, now war. If my Jack not drink, he will tell me I'm not going on stage. Oh. Mm -hmm. Then we argue, but he says, oh, you know. You have the best for me, you know. And uh, anybody can have problems, you know. So let's leave my check now. It's my, of course, the more I start talking about him, the more I feel oh. that okay. that's why I did right. that. So song, let her, let her lead the way with your life Yeah, now. because, I mean, that's why I even asked how you guys met. And it's interesting that you have managed a lot of people, but you yes. yourself love music as well. I mean... I'm a professional musician. Exactly. So um, how's that been for you? And, and I want to now go back to even before my check, like... When did you know in your life that this is what I want to do? I want to make music professionally. Right from secondary school, at the fair where we were. You can't go shame spend the shameless. Money. My papa go, anything I ask my dad, may he so rest in peace. He will surely, even for enough in my school, I told my dad I need my own table and my own chair. The guy, he, he make sure I have it. In that school that they provided, they gave me mine to show the love of it. But any time results come out, it's always my comment is, Uzo is too playful. <laughs> Uzo, uh, math, everything fail. But I loved music. Uh, my school, I used to represent them for lead, all those things. Go to his music part, I sing, I rap, and all that. Play music. I knew I'm a musician, but there was nobody to manage me. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? And I know the pain. I know what it is to manage a musician. Because managing an artist, you have to be in that artist's life. Yeah. Mm. Because every artist has ups and downs. Yeah. Like most of the things that happen with him, I and to my jack, mm. I feel the heat. Mm. There are times maybe something goes wrong, I will receive a call. Hey, who's up? Can't you control him? You have to be like mm. They don't. Call they don't directly. talk to him. But it's me. But yeah. I can't say what is behind. Mm. But I keep it. That's how managers, management. So who you managed you when you were starting off? Yeah. Um, I have people that are trained working around me, but I don't have real manager of my own now. Mm. Right. Because the thing is that because I know the music I was managing before, mm. so, so I'm putting it, really it through. Well. Mm. You understand? So, that's so are, you, are you based now in Nigeria or are you, um, is your music p being pushed abroad in the UK? Because like, you mentioned that you were going back quite a bit. So where, where's your fan base? Where, 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 where are you grounded right now? Yeah, you know, a single man can try travel anywhere at any time. Mm. So right now, I'm in Nigeria to see me. Tomorrow, I might be in England, next month, I might be in America. I have mm. a place in America. Are you shooting America. your shot with the ladies to let them know you're single? Exactly. So, you know? Yeah, tell them, they know the year what. I'm a <laughs> handsome boy, you look at my beard. Tell us about this beard. Oh, tell us about this beard. <laughs> look at my beard. Well, what, is that your trademark? Is that Actually, something, Actually, this you know? beard came because I had my girl in the US, Maya, mm. who were dating. She wanted me on BS. You know, American girls, they don't think about your pocket and all this. This is what she wants. She wants to see me on BS. Do you understand? So because of us, I started growing. Mm. 
Mm. Yes, I mean, do you have any that. American girl that does not like beards? <laughs> For you, yeah, then plenty. You'll be fine. <laughs> Anyways, we're, we're actually running you know. out of time, so let's talk about your music and especially the body the of work yeah. you are promoting at the moment. So the one, my favorite personally, is Celebrate. And yes, I spoke a little bit about it in your bio. So tell us about that music, what inspired it, and of course, tell your fans where they can find you. Okay, the truth is that um, I did three singles. One is um, God Bless Lagos, because I was born in Lagos, this is where I grew up. This okay. uh, Every man, every woman that has made it in life, most of them success stories start from Lagos. Mm. The city of Aquatic, you understand, everywhere in the world, when you say Lagos, they know you are a Nigerian. Mm. So that's why they created that song, God Bless Lagos. Then the other one is Walk Without You, that is walking, not walk, walking. Because I and my dear after Money Devotion, we take walk, walk together, mm. but now, I'm working without my jet. This oh. morning I did it, you know, that's work without Sound you. Sound like lovers. Yeah, we have, a name, we, are, we have yeah. that bond. Yeah. But now celebrate. You can see that now you have opportunity and you are alive today. You need to celebrate yourself every day. Mm. Because what no happened... No will blow your trumpet for you. Yeah, what happened during uh, last year, 2020, was... It, Shake the whole world. Mm. People are having worries. A lot of people died. Mm. You never plan it. You never know when God is going to call you. Look at the discussion. The uh, artists that died in Ghana, the producer mm. or whatever. You never know what tomorrow brings. Yeah. So celebrate yourself. Don't allow worries. Your landlord, the money you are holding back, things mm. that are happening. Mm. Your boyfriend worries you because being worried, you can't you can't help yourself. Yeah. So the thing is, you, know, you just can't receive a call at times. A free pass. But Alrighty. I feel very happy. Alrighty. So the music is all over the internet and celebrated by Uzo. Mm. Or you can Google Miracle Day Music. is on uh, my, my website. Right. Then um, YouTube, Miracle Day Music, you can see. Amazing. You know, follow me, download the music, and I can't wait to Where can they the follow stage. you What's real your quick? That's your final What's your Instagram? Yeah. Instagram? Instagram, Miracle Day Music, just write it together. Okay. You'll see my Jack Fashion picture Alrighty. there. Alrighty. Alrighty. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you so much for sir. joining us, Uzo. And um, yes, um, Thank you for being with us. Absolutely. Absolutely.